Hello again and welcome to video tutorial number two in this short series of tutorials on how to get started with software.com. My name is Eamon Killian and I've been working for a number of years now with managed service providers and cloud companies uh, showing them how they could leverage uh, a hybrid model um, or indeed migrate their services to a larger uh, infrastructure as a service provider like software to uh, leverage their capabilities uh, and economies of scale to deliver your cloud services. So in video one I actually covered the very very basics of how to actually get started with software, how to register and in video one I covered going through the try it for free option which builds a single virtual machine instance and by virtue of doing that gets you an actual account with software uh, so that you can get started on their customer portal. So this video is going to be all about the customer portal and your first experience of logging in and actually seeing what is there and what you can do from the software customer portal. In order to do that within a couple of hours of registering uh, after you click order you will receive an email from software something like this it'll be from sales at software.com and it will identify a hyperlink of where you can go to actually get access to the portal itself and your temporary portal credentials your user ID and password so let's go and log in to the portal you can either replace the www with uh, control or you can go to software.com and up in the top right is the portal link. So once you're there, um, let's actually log in. And there we have it. So this is pretty much what you will see every time you log in to the software customer portal. Um, there are a number of options along the top, just under the software, starting under the software logo, uh, around support, devices, storage, network, security services, and an overall account listing, which is all of the others blown out, as well as being able to see your invoices and payments. On the main dashboard, you can see you can order devices, whether it's storage, network, security, or actual devices themselves, virtual machines, bare metal machines. Uh, you get a summary of your current account. Um, I don't owe them any money, which is quite good. Um, you can change. You can see your uh, tickets if you have any outstanding support tickets, and a list of scheduled maintenance outages that will be happening. In this particular instance, we went for in video one an Amsterdam-based virtual machine, so that would be highlighted here. Um, there's no bandwidth to display at the moment and I can have an account snapshot so I've got one device and there's one user of software so if we look at the account itself the overall menu options you can see under support you can raise a ticket you can have a look at your existing tickets under devices you can see whether you've got any big data or other devices you can manage the passwords uh, flex images which we'll cover in a different uh, video um, storage etc I mean it, it speaks for itself it's a huge menu of options allowing you to control every aspect of your software account so let's go and look at devices because in video tutorial 1 we actually signed up for software with Sassify 1 and here indeed is Sassify 1 we have a public IP and a private IP and in this instance I restarted it about an hour ago just for this video. So we can go in and look at even more details on the actual virtual machine and here it is. So it's active, it's up, it's running, brilliant. Everything's ready to rock and roll. So the questions I get from customers are, well, that's nice, but how do I get access to it? How do I actually get into this machine? How do I, you know, come from my service external to software and actually join up with this virtual machine and start putting some stuff on there I want to use? 
Well, it's very, very simple. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need the actual password to get into this machine. So let's go and look at devices passwords. And on devices passwords, we have a software instance. It's the CentOS one that we created. And we can see the actual password. So here's the root password. If I copy that into my buffer, that is the root password we will use to get into the software machine. So now I can open up a terminal. And I'll bring that in to our window in here. So from our terminal, we now have a root password but we also want to know what the IP address is. So if we go back to devices, and the device list, we can find the public IP address and we can actually secure shell into Now we'll need to go back again and find my password for the machine because of course I cut and pasted in I'm going to say yes and then the password and there we are we are on root at Sassify so we are now actually on the virtual machine which is a CentOS Linux instance. There we go. So that is how you gain access to your virtual machine. You can remote shell into it. I hope this was useful. I want to keep these videos short um, so that you can get tidbits of information as we go through the videos without them being far too long and say half an hour 45 minutes hopefully this was useful this is a very early snapshot of how to get access to your first virtual machine how to log into it and uh, my name is Eamon Killian and thank you very very much for watching this video